Hello YouTube, this is Miss Finnicat and in this soft spoken ASMR video I am going to share a little bit about the COVID-19 situation in the Netherlands. Um, well, it's not good. The thing is, the virus after, well, it didn't disappear during the summer, but um, we were doing pretty well, I guess. But now the virus is returning at a fast speed and we are once again in lockdown. And it is a partial lockdown. Um, at least that is what the government is calling it. But the rules are pretty strict and I'll share them with you in a bit. First, let me say, um, in spring or like March and April and May, the Netherlands also had a lot of problems with the virus, just as, well, pretty much everybody. Um, and then during summer, it was better. Um, I think the uh, virologists, is that a, an English word? Um, right now I'm just taking the Dutch word and sort of translating it without knowing whether... Anyway, um, the doctors basically, they already told us like chance, chances were high that the virus would well, sort of kind of disappear during summer when the weather is better and then it would probably return during fall and well, let me tell you, that is exactly what is going on. Um, first of all, the footage that you're watching right now, that is um, the view from my balcony and it is actually some footage that I shot, I don't know weeks and weeks ago let me see if i can check real quick when exactly it was ah yeah it was um on the 9th of august so pretty much in the middle of summer and i wanted to create a video about the footage i don't know before but haven't come around to it so here i am i thought it might be nice to look at i feel like Back then, you know, back in August, we were all still pretty much confused by the whole situation and um, we felt pretty restricted. And of course we were, I mean, life was different than, I don't know, life was just pretty different. But looking back now, I feel like, oh wow, we actually had quite a lot of freedom back then. And there were even even good things that happened because if you look at this square this footage this big square where people are now preparing this huge terrace this square normally pre-covid um was pretty much empty i mean the square was there and people would walk around um, and there's a far farmer's market three days a week this is the city of groningen by the way in the north of the netherlands but there wasn't a terrace, there weren't chairs, you could, there were no, no, you know, you couldn't sit down and, and order a drink or something to eat. And then the virus came, and first all the bars and restaurants were closed. But then during summer they were allowed to be open again. However, people should stay at at least a meter and a half away from each other. So the rules were changed. And so all the restaurants and bars that are located along this square, they now got permission from the city government to place all these squares, uh, squares, stair, boy, I can't speak, all these chairs <laughs> um, in the middle of the square so that people could sit there and enjoy the summer, basically. And for me, as you know, I'm, I'm paying off my student loan as fast as I can, so I do not spend a lot of money um, 
places like this or hardly any basically so for me um it was still very nice because well this is the view from my balcony so i could just sit on my balcony look outside and the weather would be really nice and i just felt like i was in italy um and that actually was really really nice um because of course because of covid we weren't traveling much um and also because of me saving money or actually paying off debt um i wasn't traveling much to begin with so now it was like italy came to me and it was really nice to just watch outside and look at those people and they were um they had to put the chairs there and take them away every day because um well i don't know why i guess that was what was um what the deal was and also because of the farmer's market i guess three days a week on tuesdays and fridays and saturdays the square had to be empty for the farmer market um farmer's market um uh, so I could just watch outside and people were there, you know, bringing out all the chairs or bringing them in again and just to walk around. It was just really, really nice. Um, and I did enjoy this view back then. But like I said, at the same time, I felt like, oh, there are so many things that we cannot do. Oh, you might hear my cat. She is approaching. <laughs> Oh, the poor little animal loves ASMR as well. So, uh, she always visits me when I'm whispering. Although I'm, I'm like softly speaking now. Uh, I'm doing that on purpose. I know, I, I myself, I enjoy whispering more. Um, but I like the occasional soft-spoken video. And I remember creating a whisper video about the virus somewhere during spring. And that video got some listeners who do not know what ASMR is um, and they were like really confused or they were asking me like why are you whispering stop whispering and I was like oh yeah <laughs> sometimes you have that you know with particular topics um, I don't know that's just the YouTube algorithm I, I don't know I, 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 don't, I really don't know anyway um, I figured uh, I better speak softly for this one um so let me see there there might be some sounds in the background i don't know how how bad you can hear them it's just well you see here in the footage you know where i live it's just it's crazy there's always noise outside and actually this partial lockdown might be good for my asmr channel meaning that it is quieter actually so that is one good thing for now what I'm going to do I'm just going to tell you the new rules that we have here in the Netherlands um, so yeah basically the partial lockdown whatever that may be um, let's see it's Friday the 16th of October right now and these rules are actually the rules um, that were announced last Tuesday I think the 13th yes that was Tuesday Tuesday the 13th of October so this is the present situation so let's see um, first of all there are rather a lot of people who are sick um, at this point it's like almost 8,000 a day I think let me let me get the latest numbers because I have them somewhere here uh, yeah, yesterday it was 7,997, so that is indeed almost 8,000. Um, the day before it were a little bit less, and last week it was only 5,000, almost 5,000. So that is, um, well, not good. It is not good. That's basically what it is. Um, then let's see the rules. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. I might have to redo this part of the video because of the noise. I can't really, um, I usually can't really predict. Sometimes a sound will 
will be really loud in, in my house and I will be like, oh, this is really bad for the video. But then I'm listening back and I'm like, oh, that's not too bad. And sometimes it's completely the other way around. So, uh, let me see. I have the website here in front of me of the government. And it says that these are the new rules and that they uh, apply from Wednesday 14th of October on 10 o'clock at night. And actually that Wednesday, so last Wednesday, just two days ago, during the evening there was a lot of noise outside. You could really notice that people were like, oh we have till tonight at 10 to sit in a bar, to go to a restaurant. So everybody was doing it and there was a lot of noise and then especially around 10 o'clock, from 10 till 10.30 or something, you know, when, when stuff was like closing for the last time. Oh well. So let's see the rules. Um, the advice is that you at home um, only get three visitors at a time that do not belong to your household and also three visitors max a day and this I think is a suggestion, an advice because the law in the Netherlands prohibits the government from actually telling you what you do inside of your home. But this is like the, well, the strongly, highly advised rule, which might not be a rule. Well, I don't know, you get what I'm trying to say, I think. Um, then, if you are inside, in a space with other people, the maximum number is 30. And I think this has to do with schools and stuff, I think, I think. Then, um... Whether, when you're not at home, inside or outside, you should be with four people max if these people are from different households. Um, and as long as you are with people from your own household, there is no maximum. You can just be together because, you know, you live together. So, then um, the advice is to work at home unless it is really not possible or inconvenient, but like everybody work from home um, then you have to wear a uh, what's the word a I, I, can't, I don't know the word like a like such a thing in front of you <laughs> why do I not know the word I'm gonna search a a mouth mask is that the word face mask it's the, the Google thingy here says mouth mask, but I think that is because it doesn't recognize the Dutch word. Because I think face mask is the more appropriate, more used word. Well, anyway, wear a face mask. Um, everybody from 13 year old and up, if you are in public transportation. Or, and this one is new, if you are inside in a public space. Uh, like shops or well, I don't know any any public space and this one is new because this one we didn't have this rule before I don't know here in the Netherlands we were kind of against face mask we don't like face masks it took us a while to get used to it um, then yeah all the uh, restaurants and bars have to close except that you can go there and like for takeaway so restaurants are allowed to be open for takeaway and then there is this strange exception or maybe it's not strange I don't know hotels are allowed to be open and so if there is a restaurant inside a hotel then the guests of the hotel can go to that restaurant so if you would want to go on a trip you should make sure that you book yourself a room in a hotel so then you probably have a restaurant as well kind of strange kind of strange um, and then apparently at the airport after the security check so when you're really inside the airport thingy there's also restaurants that are allowed to be open then stores however not grocery stores but like retail like like just stores shops they have to close at eight o'clock and um 
Normally, cities in the Netherlands have one night, one night a week, where the stores are closing later. Usually it's nine. Uh, here in Groningen, it is on Thursday, so it would have been last night, but nope. Um, grocery stores, however, can open later. Stay open later. And then between 8 o'clock at night and 7 o'clock the next morning, it is not allowed to sell alcohol. And between those hours, it's also not allowed to have alcohol with you, on you, when you are in a public space. You're not allowed to drink it, but I think that is the rule no matter what. You're not allowed to drink outside in a public space, even though that rule is kind of... Well, you, are, you you can do it if you if you're not causing trouble. I think it's kind of one of those things where drunk people are causing trouble. It's easy that this rule is in place because then the police can just do something. And as long as you you're just sitting somewhere quietly, it's okay if you drink a beer. Um, but just you know, like that. But now you you can't drink it and you also can't bring it. Then events are prohibited. Except for farmers markets, they can go on. And also like a congress can go on. Um, you know, what's the word? Congress is like a polit politics. That's not what I try to say. Congress, let me just see. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, I'm just like, what am, I, what am I even trying to say? I don't know. Maybe I should look for the other word that might be better. No, um, <laughs> I'm not, not, I'm not lucky. Like one of those, um, oh, why can't I think of the word? Like when a, when a group of like a certain profession all come together for a event, like, boy, 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 I can't speak. Anyway, this is just details. Then also um, movie theaters and theaters can still be open. Um, and also if there's some sort of protest, uh, then you're still allowed to do, do the protest. There are some extra rules, of course, but all right. And so then um, in stores, there's like these extra rules if, if people are not... Uh, keeping distance, keeping their distance from each other, then uh, the store can be closed down. And then there's um, locations like, like libraries or museums or stuff where a lot of people are. They, have, they need to have this system where you uh, reserve like a time slot so that they know that um, there won't be too many people at one time. Then also um, sporting games. They are almost all forbidden right now. Um, except for some sort of like the athletes, the professional athletes or the soccer players. Only the male soccer players. I don't know. I don't even want to get into this because I, I get angry. But apparently only the male soccer players because they're way more important than the female soccer player. Let me not get into this. Okay. Then there's some more advice. Do not travel if you don't have to. Travel as... Just don't travel. Um, and that one is actually kind of hard, I feel. Because, I mean, I'm even my, my parents, my family, they... A lot of my family and my friends live like one or two hours away from me. And I'm like, is that traveling? I guess it is. But does that mean that I can't visit them? That, uh, yeah, I don't like it. And then it says, uh, stay at the place where you are if you are traveling. So do not do not move again. That's kind of odd. Because what if you are now traveling, then you're stuck there? Well, that might be good news. I don't know. Um... Well, don't do not do all these fun outings, basically. Stay away from people. And that is what it is. And then if you feel sick, if you feel ill, if you think that you might have the virus, then the advice is to stay home and also to leave your house because you have to get tested. <laughs> but otherwise, stay home. 
Um, and of course, it's like the, the same advice that we had all the time, like wash your hands off and, and you know, do the smart stuff. So, I think that's it, basically. Huh. Yeah, I think that's it. That is it. Let me see. So, um, yeah. Now you can um, watch some more. <laughs> Some more of the footage. Um, I hope you like the footage. I really like the footage. That's for sure. And yeah, let me see what else can I say. It's it's it feels kind of strange. Um, in April it was also new and acute. Is acute a word in English? Boy, I can't speak. Also urgent. That might be a better way to say it. It all felt so urgent. And now it's like, like we're slowly starting to realize like, oh, we have to get used to this, like, long time. I mean, there might be, um, you know, like a, oh, I don't know the words, like you can get a shot and then you won't get sick. I hope that will be there here soon. Um, and there, of course, there are people testing and experimenting and it might be here soon. I don't know. Uh. However, it's just kind of, kind of hard, kind of hard to get used to this stuff. But I think that is what we want. Well, yeah. So yeah, let's just think back of summer and all the freedom that we had, even though, well, I at least didn't really realize it. And um, yeah, yeah, I think it's a time to to, I don't know, reflect on life. At least that's what I'm doing. I'm really focusing on the things I'm grateful for and well, sometimes it's the little things. Um, yeah, it's a strange time to be alive. <laughs> but yeah, maybe all the times are stra strange times to be alive. I don't know. L life is interesting. Let me put it that way. That's for sure. Um, Anyway, so far, I myself, I'm doing well. Um, I haven't been ill, my family hasn't been ill, my friends haven't been ill. Um, so I guess there are still a lot of people who um, have not got the disease yet. Which might also be not a good thing, because that means there are still a lot of people who are um, able to get it. And then also there was a woman uh, last week, I think, here in the Netherlands who got the disease for the second time and she died. And that was a first, at least for the Netherlands, I don't know, I think it's rare. And this was a, an, an elderly woman, I think she was like 89 years old, I don't remember exactly. And she was also um, pretty severely ill, uh, not because of the virus, but, you know, to begin with. So... Um, but still, she had the disease for the second time, which is something that for a while we thought was not even possible. You would hopefully be immune if you got the virus, but I don't know if that's, if that's not true or if the virus is changing enough. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, she got it again and she died. So it is a scary time, I guess. So, um... That will be it for now. Thank you so much for listening to this video. I hope it was relaxing, even though the topic might not be the most relaxing topic. Um, but I hope that the footage was relaxing nonetheless. And yeah, I don't know. I'll be creating whisper videos next about really relaxing topics. I promise. Anyway, thank you so much for listening and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.